All right, let's switch gears. I want to talk about the new climate report that came out from the UN. We've been talking about it for years, the effects of climate change. We use the facts to talk about damages and possible solutions. And there has been progress, but not nearly as much as there should be. And according to the United Nations study, not nearly as much as there has to be. The report insists the devastating impacts of human-caused climate change are happening right now. Today's IPCC report is an atlas of human suffering and a damning indictment of failed climate leadership. And those impacts are getting worse and could potentially be irreversible. Nearly half of humanity is living in the danger zone now. Many ecosystems are at the point of no return now. The report cites multiple threats, weather extremes like drought and fire and floods that have already disrupted human life and natural ecosystems. In some cases, beyond the point where either are able to adapt. The report makes it clear that those impacts are more widespread and happening more quickly than we had thought previously. The report stresses that significant change needs to occur in the next decade to prevent irreversible damage. And science tells us that will require the world to cut emissions by 45% by 2030 and achieve net zero emissions of greenhouse gases by 2050. But according to current commitments, global emissions are set to increase almost 14 percent over the current decade. What's new in this report are multiple adaptation strategies that can be successful if the global temperature rise is limited to one and a half degrees Celsius. If we start protecting people with the types of solutions that we're implementing now, rather than waiting until later, we are more likely to, to save money in the future. Viable solutions are on the table, but scientists and experts are urging action now, not later. Adaptation and mitigation must be pursued with equal force and urgency. Every fraction of the degree matters. Every voice can make a difference, and every second counts. The report says this is going to require cooperation among countries all over the world and calls for wealthier countries to provide financial help to poorer nations to fight climate change. Shade and Bill, it's just gone from being a disruptive thing with a lot of people thinking about it on the back burner to now it's in front of us, it's damaging us, it's time to act or else. Yeah, a crisis time, there's no question about it.